You know, before the record companies would support your your touring, your, they would support your uh, marketing, they would pay for the marketing, they would pay for the styling, they would pay for everything. Today, they don't do that anymore, They unless they have their own artists, which are superstars or stars already. So it's my job to get her to that level. So the best thing for me, I figured, I'm gonna create a team in Canada, and it worked for us. We sold 500,000 singles. I'm going to create a team in, in uh, London, and we're just starting here. And, and everyone that I, I hired, they're great. They believe. That's one thing I, I, I always say to everyone. If you believe in my artist, you work with me. If you don't believe, it's okay. But don't work with me for the money. Okay, work because you believe in the artist. Because that's the way I, I am, you know. I mean, I, I don't care. I'll, I'll, I'll sell my house. I, I, I'm not kidding. I'll sell my house and to continue with her because that's how much I believe. I believe that she's going, she has her place in, in being a star because she should be a star. She's a great writer, great singer, great performer, great person, you know, and I think she could give a lot of um, um, nice, uh, she could be a good role model. model. You know, a, a good role model for younger <laughs> younger people. <laughs> okay, I think so. Anyway, uh, so for the, for the young artists out there that want to be an artist, who they have to go look for? Forget record companies. They have to go look for someone who believes in them. Someone who's gonna become a partner of their. They believe in what the what the artist believes in. They believe that she's or he or they are real and serious and that's who you have to go and, and, and find. Let the rest come after that. You need to work hard. It's no longer a record sales that define you as a superstar. It's more airplay, more hits on uh, iTunes, not iTunes, sorry, to, uh, YouTube, sorry. It's more hits on YouTube, and, and Christina's got some hits. She's there's a song that she's got 2.5 million hits. There's another one, the one that we're working in uh, in uh, in the UK. We got uh, more than 1.2. Yeah, not 1.3 million. Yeah, and uh, so so you know, I mean, uh, it's been a struggle. It's four years we're working on this. It's not that long, you know. I still have one more year to do what we did with Celine. One more year. So, and I'm hoping to get there. But even if it takes six years or seven years, I don't care. I believe she's gonna happen. She's the greatest person you wanna talk to, greatest person you wanna hang out to, with, and she's a great singer. Today, there's not a lot of great singers, you know? Um, so that's where I'm at. So f for those young people, don't give up. Look for the person who believes in you. That's what you have to do. And because today, another story is, uh, even making videos, now we're starting to look at sponsors. You know, like uh, L'Oreal, if they say they, they want to get involved in one of our videos, that's how, that's how we get at least half the finance. And at the same time, we put their product in it. It's pl uh, product re replacement, you know? So there's a lot of that right now. That that's that's the way. I think it's the new road to the record business. I should just say the music business. It's the new road to the music business. It's 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 all about songs. It's all about melodies, singer, uh, great uh, touring, uh, uh, great airplay, and the internet. Can I ask you a question? When you got to the point that the first album was successful. Wasn't there? Well, there would have been approaches probably from the labels. Or they there was one I wasn't sure, so I said no. Yeah. You know, they wanted to take a piece of the the uh, profits by doing nothing. <laughs> okay. You know, it, it's really you got to be at a position today, and I don't blame them because they don't sell a lot of records, unless even big stars don't sell a lot of records. It's all about publishing, 
It's all about, you know, uh, mechanical rights and stuff like that. So now a record company, if they one day come to me and say, we want to sign Christina, they're probably going to ask for a piece of the publishing, a piece of the uh, touring, and I don't blame them, you know. They're going to have to pay for it, but I don't blame them because that's where the money is. Records, albums, it's rare you sell them. You sell them only when you're on tour because that's when the, the public connects with, her, with the artist. But today, it's like the 60s. To, we're back to the 60s, the, the business of singles. You know, if you remember at that time, you know, James Brown and all these people, they would go, they would get together, five artists, get in on a bus and go on tour, get radio and buy the single. And that's what's happening today. On, online, they go check the album, they check a song that they've heard on radio, they'll buy that song. They won't buy the album. They're gonna wait. If they, if they figure that there's one, two, three singles, then they, can, then they start thinking, maybe I'll buy the whole album. I'll, I'll have it on, download the whole album. But it's mostly singles. And, and that's where the business is. It's back to the 60s. It's interesting to say that. What I find fascinating is that you're someone who's been in the music industry for a long time, but you've been willing to adapt yes. and, and learn, where it seems like sometimes the labels have been seen as being not willing to move forward. They want to stay in the old business model. So what made you think that you actually wanted to adopt the new practices? I'm too young. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I'm, I'm 58 years old. Okay, don't, for don't, me... Don't look it. For me, I'm still 10. That's what my wife tells me. Uh, I swear when I have to swear. I fool around when I have to fool around. I, I, I don't want to grow up. And, and, and this business could keep, you, could keep you young. It could make you crazy. It could make you stress, stressful, anxiety. But if you believe, that's what carries you. So for me to do, to start over again, it was more of a challenge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like after 23 years of exploding, you know, great success, you know, I mean, beautiful success, beautiful ride. You know, I had a great ride with, Chris, uh, with Celine, you know. It was a beautiful ride. But I wanted to do something new, you know, and something young again, because that's, that's my forte. When I started with Celine, I brought her into the pop scene. Well, before she was more adult contemporary. You know, when she was 14, she was more adult. So, and, and, and for me, that, that part is what excites me, is to break new pop. I could go a little uh, R&B, you know, that type of thing. And that, that's what keeps me going. And in terms of actually being a manager, what type of manager do you see yourself as? Because... I, go ahead. Because... The model that you've gone by it seems that the manager is also the financer. Yeah. So they're you're offsetting what would have been what the the record would, company, right, which yeah. actually would have been an A and R process before. Right. Um, how do you weigh two hats when it's like there's a creative decision and there's a there's a business decision? I wait. I, I wear a lot of hats. I don't mind. You know, my head is small anyway. <laughs> so no, you know what's great? Uh, as a manager, I want to be your partner. Okay. Uh, I think a good manager is when you take one artist and really believe. When you have 10 artists, you're not going to do half as much to with each one. For me, one artist is enough. For me, one artist is what I want to put my 100% in. I'm even telling managers, to, they should do that. Pick the artist that they believe the biggest in, the most in, and concentrate on that. You will be able to explore explode you know so I'm the type of manager like I said that I, you know I like to feel and I like to think that I'm her partner I'm the, not business partner of course she's like my daughter you know so business partner a partner uh, someone that if, if she's not feeling too positive she could call me and I said don't worry it's coming I'm we're gonna try different things you know or if I say to her I don't know about this. What do you think about this? You know, she'll give me a, an idea, and uh, you know, I'll take it. 
leave it in my mind and at one point maybe say, hey, you know what, it'll work now. Not then, but now. You know what I'm saying? So if you're asking me what type of manager I am, I'm the manager that's wreck a company, marketing, promotion, uh, video producer, and record producer, executive producer.